Welcome back. It's time for us to continue our recruitments. And next up, I want to um, go and locate this Jack, who is apparently an exceptional biotic. That means pretty much that unlike uh, Archangel, there's no possibility for Jack to be any of our previous uh, squad. For one thing, we didn't have anyone on our squad called Jack. And uh, the only human biotic we had was uh, Caden, who, uh, unless he somehow survived the nuclear explosion, is uh, we're unlikely to see again in this game. Also, why would Caden be in uh, custody? So, this is not anyone we know, but still, a powerful biotic is never a bad thing to have on your squad. And really, okay, maybe this Jack is a is a convict. How bad can he be? You might notice that we have uh, the ability to leave this area now, which we didn't before. This is because uh, Kasumi's uh, loyalty mission is in the area of the Citadel, but that will wait until later. For now. We're going to recruit the cro uh, no, the convict in the uh, Hourglass Nebula. One of the annoying things about the way this galaxy map works is that you can uh, have so many things displayed on it that you can barely see where to click anymore. It's not so bad right now, but it can get much worse if you uh, leave certain things for very long. Okay, so I'm going to uh, go here. And there is our destination, the prison ship Purgatory. Wait, so we have Afterlife in the uh, in Omega, and now we're going to Purgatory. What's next? Um, I'm detecting a theme here. The prison ship Purgatory, owned by the notorious Blue Suns Mercenary Company, the Purgatory was once an Ark ship used to hold agricultural animals. Now it is used to hold prisoners, whether taken in battle or sold by unscrupulous politicians under the name of subcontracting and outsourcing. Rumors abound that the Blue Suns turn skilled or fit prisoners over to Batarian slavers, but few have ever seen the transaction and lived to tell about it. Its population is listed at 4,350, but independent journalists estimate it is nearly three times that in periods of overcrowding. Sounds like an interesting place. And apparently we negotiated a contract to get uh, Jack. So, we shouldn't encounter any trouble. Um, let's see... Whom shall I use? Well, Garrus didn't really get the Doom much in that one side quest, so I'm gonna take him. However, one thing that's kind of weird is that Garrus spends the entire game um, in his... broken armor. If you use his default appearance, so I'm actually going to use the um, DLC pack. Like all of the uh, DLC appearances, this one has a couple of weird things. The, um, in this case, it's the lights, which, you know, seem like a bad idea on armor. Unless you want uh, the enemy to be easily able to hit you. And the dual microphones. But, like with uh, Miranda's DLC appearance, it's not too bad. And giving uh, Garrus some uh, non-broken armor seems to be worth it. The second person I'm going to take is, of course, Kasumi, because she just joined our squad. So let's see what uh, she brings to the table. And I still don't have any points to purchase any higher ranks, and I still don't want to put them into the other two. 
Garrus has nothing we can use, and Kasumi also has overload. This is a very overload-heavy squad. Oh well, um, doesn't necessarily uh, mean that's a bad thing. Shadow Strike, quite a useful ability. Cloak and sneak behind a target to deliver a devastating blow. Like I said, it's kind of like Tactical Cloak, except she uses it to somehow uh, instantly appear behind targets and then hit them, and then somehow return to us in much less time than it would take you to walk there normally. So I'm guessing it includes a teleport ability, or Kasumi can just run very fast under a cloak. So I'm going to uh, put a point in that to unlock her overload skill. And I will uh, give her a point in that too, just for the sake of it. Master Thief enhances Kasumi's weapons, weapon damage and health, improves her power recharge time, like the passive skill of everybody else. And her uh, loyalty power is flashbang grenade, but we haven't unlocked that yet. Um, well, like with Garrus, um, not gonna put a point, more points in Overload for the moment, anyway. Let's put another in Shadow Strike. Um, I am using the Missile Launcher, which is good. And nobody else has any choices worth making, I think. No. Let's see what awaits us here. Welcome to the Purgatory, Shepard. Your package is being prepped and you can claim it shortly. As this is a high security vessel, you need to relinquish your weapons before we proceed. I like there's no yes option. No or go to hell. Well, it's a bit uh, over the top. I can't do that. Everyone stand down. Commander, I'm Warden Kiram, and this is my ship. Your weapons will be returned on the way out. You must realize this is just a standard procedure. It's my standard procedure to keep my gun. Let them proceed. Our facility is more than secure enough to handle three armed guests. We're bringing Jack out of cryo. As soon as the fund's clear, you can be on your way. If you'll follow me to out processing for the pickup, Commander. Let's go. Cell Block 2. As you can see, we keep tight control over the population. Each prisoner's cell is a self-contained modular unit. I've blown a few out the airlocks as an example. The ship is made up of 30 cell blocks identical to this one. We house thousands of criminals. We can put the whole place in lockdown on a moment's notice. Nothing goes wrong here. Yeah, we'll see about that. Can you tell me about Jack? Cerberus hasn't told you. Jack is the meanest handful of violence and hate I've ever encountered. Dangerous, crazy, and very powerful. You'll see soon enough. Does this sound like the kind of person we actually want on our team? Well, as long as he uh, follows orders. I suppose it might work. We'll see. How'd you end up running this ship? I was in law enforcement on Palavin and got sick of seeing criminals escape out into the galaxy to carry on with their crimes. Bounty hunters aren't dependable. Eventually I hit upon this idea. Keep the criminals in space and the galaxy is a safer place. You do this because you think it's necessary? Every day I see the worst sapient life has to offer. Governments are soft, unwilling to make the hard choices. Someone had to stand up and make the galaxy safe. Very noble. Maintaining a population this size in space can't be cheap. 
We can cut corners that governments can't, and each prisoner brings in a fee from his home world. These individuals are violent, and their home planets pay well to keep them here. What happens if the home world doesn't want to pay? We explain that we can't maintain the prisoner without their help, so we'll be forced to release him back onto his home world at an unspecified place and time. So it's an extortion racket. You don't have to agree with my methods, but don't question my motives. These are despicable people, and I'm keeping them locked up. No, I'm with Garrus here. Sounds like an extortion racket to me. Let's get on with this. Have there been escape attempts? We're in space. They have nowhere to go, and they know it. But still, we exercise extreme caution. These are dangerous individuals. We have many ways to control the population. I'm going to confirm that the funds from Cerberus cleared. Our processing is straight down this hallway. Just keep going past the interrogation rooms and the Supermax wing. I'll catch up with you later, Shepard. Okay. Interesting place. I kind of want to uh, get out of here as soon as possible. I don't like it here. Albatarians working here? Looks like it. There's nothing to say, though. Well, at least they allow the prisoners out to stretch their legs occasionally, from the looks of things. Is that the lunch area? Something like that. See, it's very conspicuous, that armor. <laughs> With the lights on it. Oh well! Let's move on. Torture. These are some sick freaks. That is not good. Is there something I can do for you? There's no excuse for beating a prisoner who can't fight back. This is a massage compared to what his victims went through. This degrades you as much as him. We have orders. You're not important enough to make your own decisions? I admit, I sometimes get tired of this. Does this really get us anything useful? Stop this. For your own sake. Yeah, you're right. Call it off. At least for now. These guys may be criminals, but no reason for us to uh, lower ourselves to their level. Hey guys, over here. Let me ask you something. Prisoner 780. Let's see what he was just. If you're buying say. prisoners, can you buy me? Man, I, I don't care where you take me or what you do to me. It's gotta be better than this. We're here for Jack. Jack? Forget what I just said. I don't want to go nowhere with you. Sounds like he knows Jack. Tell me more about Jack. The worst trouble you ever saw. Mixed with some crazy and way too much biotic power. That's all I'm saying. It's uh, interesting how they avoid personal pronouns whenever they're talking about Jack. I thought this ship was a prison, not a market. Sometimes people buy cons so they can do some punishing of their own, if you understand. Warden sells this to whoever can pay enough. Okay, this place is sounding worse and worse. Why are they interrogating that prisoner? You know something? Nah, that's Bimmy. He don't know nothing. He offed someone in the showers yesterday, I think. Guy he killed was worth a lot to the warden. Yeah. Sucks to be Bimmy right now. They're going at it pretty hard. Do they ever kill prisoners by accident? I haven't heard of anyone dying. Warden can't make money off us if we're dead. Funny thing, though. The more a guard does it, the meaner he gets. So they rotate him through. So, what are you in for? I killed a few people. Only about 20 or so. And I blew up that one habitat. Small time compared to most of the guys here. Yeah, right. What's it like here? Bad. And you gotta watch out. 
Damn, but someone's always after your stuff. Your smokes, clothes, your pride. I, I haven't taken a shower in three months. Yeah, I have a feeling I know what he means by that. I also have a feeling I don't really want to know. I should go. Wish I could go. Well, I don't think you can. Not a prisoner. I hear the screaming in my head. It's nice. Yeah. Okay. You're reminding me of the uh, indoctrinated Salarians on Vermeer. I hear the screaming in my head. It's nice. Yeah. Let's move on to out processing, which appears to be here. According to the rather uh, large letters on the wall. Out processing is through the door on the far side of the room. Why, thank you, my good man. That would be here then. Attention, authorized personnel only. Well, I guess that includes me. My apologies, Shepard. You're more valuable as a prisoner than a customer. Drop your weapons and proceed into this open cell. You will not be harmed. Um, let me... give you a tip for the future, Warden Kirill. Tell them that after you locked him in a room, not before. You talked up your noble intentions with this prison, but it turns out you're a criminal like the rest. Activate systems! Okay, well, looks like there's trouble after all. Okay, now she's using Shadow Strike, see? Uh, but she couldn't apparently make it to the enemies. Fenris Max. Fun. Can't really hit them from there. That seems to be it. Reinforce out processing. Shepherd is loose. But not for long. Enemy. Stupid Mac. Do that right now. Okay, he cornered me. Damn you! Did I do that? Yeah, you did. You were standing right there. Overload makes short work of their shields. Um. Going to cover. Yeah, you see me. What less to worry about? Can't do it. There. Yeah, that's because the guy you were trying to shadow strike was already dead. There's somebody behind this door. Shepard is on the loose. Repeat, Shepard is loose. Get people down here. Why can't I shoot around this corner? <coughs> yeah. Just a technician. Not really anything to worry about. Ezo. Oh great, heavy mechs. I'm sure we're gonna have to deal with those at some point. Medical station. Secure door. Locked. Well yes, otherwise it wouldn't be very secure, would it? I guess we have to use the security controls. 
Shepard, if you hack that control, every door on the cell block opens. It's the only way to get Jack out of there. I'm doing it. Be ready. So now we get to fight prisoners and guards. That's... Jack? That's Jack? That's what I said. She's less mill than I expected. We have to get down there. Now, if only Jack could do that outside of cutscenes. Unfortunately, it's cutscene power. Warning. We just Warning. saw her take on three mechs. And by herself, she won't be able to do that when she's regularly on uh, Hero Squad, that's for sure. Which is a shame, would be useful. Would also make her way overpowered. Anything here? Nope. Not an awful lot of room in these cells, but then I guess if you're in cryogenic stasis, you don't really need it. Well, I guess we're not fighting these mechs. This should come in handy. Damage protection research. All guards, restore order. Lethal force authorized. But don't kill Jack. Techs, lockdown, lockdown. Okay, that might be difficult. This looks like an ambush. No ambush, okay. Hmm, this looks like the area we saw before. Or one like it. Where they were letting the prisoners stretch their legs. I'm going in! We shall be easy to track. Yeah, just follow the trail of destruction, it seems. Where the hell am I supposed to go? Spotted them! Yeah, I'd like to kind of listen to that. You can try and save the prisoners. There is no point to it. It won't work. <coughs> Heavy mech. How fun. Um, no. Missile launcher is what I want. Missile launcher is a very fast shooting... It's gonna blow. Heavy weapon. Okay, that was a, la a long pause in that sentence. Um, back to my SMG, please. Let's see if there's anything to pick up here. Doesn't look like it. Okay, I guess we must. Warning. Power plant damage has led to overload. Core systems failure imminent. This guard got swarmed by prisoners with improvised weapons. He never had a chance. It shows you what kind of people these prisoners are. I don't agree with everything they do here, but it's in the galaxy's best interests. This guard kept maniacs away from innocent people. Yeah, unfortunately the people he was working for were not much better. Ah, I knew there had to be something. Stuff for us to hack. So we can get cash. And considering the way he got the, this cash, probably, I don't really mind stealing it from them. After all, he's dead, so... Not like he needs it. Lockdown in blocks 4, 7, and 8! 
New heavy weapon ammo. That tells me um, there may be more heavy mechs. 